the free market will not save us. Oh yeah, I just said that. What was your response? If you're not already following me down the rabbit hole, I could see you reacting in one of a few ways. You might argue that the free market is the greatest tool at the creation of a free, fair, and innovative society, and with the right approach, can be used to stop upcoming disasters. It just has to be proven that it will be more profitable in the long run, and then the entrepreneurs and their researchers can help to mitigate or even solve these issues. The motives of profit are too powerful for any hope of using market forces to solve disasters. The world needs complete systemic change and needs it yesterday. The Earth is nearing its tipping point, and it seems highly unlikely that we'll get the changes needed to stop it. Why should anyone bother at this point? The Earth could already be doomed due to the slow shift of human progress. You might also say, the market might not be perfect, but it's the best system there is, and any problems preventing societal solutions can be fixed using proper regulations and the tools of democracy. To any of these answers, and any other variations you may have, I'd like for you to sit down and listen for a bit. If I can't convince you, then feel free to chide me in the comments and call me names. I can take it. I've seen some stuff. I'm not going to argue in this video for any system. That's for another time. What I am going to do is argue against the free market. This is why the free market will not save us. The free market isn't free. Many people in my audience may be aware, but most people might not be of one key feature of the free market. It's a lie. I'm talking the idea of the growth of a nation, or an individual, or the accumulation of wealth, or any sort of genuine innovation, is not a result of complete free trade and free association. The truth about the free market, otherwise known as neoliberalism, and how things have run for the past 200 years for that matter, is that state intervention is necessary to keep the whole thing running. There are two major schools of thought in response to this information. A. The free market is by definition free trade and free association. To consider the current state of trade and international monetary policy as free is not true. This is not a free market. If you consider this stance, it seems perfectly logical. State intervention prevents the market from being free. But this means the free market has never existed. As mentioned before, the state has always been key in maintaining and growing the power of capital. You can't claim any benefit of the free market if you hold this position in order to be logically consistent. This market has not, and likely can never, exist. But let's consider another approach. B. This market is still free because it's not completely controlled by the state. It's international and able to pull nations and people out of poverty, even if the monetary policies are a bit sketchy. The power of the free market improves the lives of many people. Certainly not all, but anyone with the will and the drive can pull themselves out of poverty. And if there are systemic barriers, we can remove them with regulations on the market. But it's the colloquialism of the free market that refers to the trade of these goods internationally and without economic protectionism. It allows us to grow economically, and the countries we trade with can grow economically as well. The developing world poverty rate has gone down. Now more than ever, social mobility is possible. When anyone can afford technology, that means anyone can innovate. But does the market improve people's lives internationally and individually? Let's discuss. I'm gonna update y'all real quick. I'm sorry for being radio silent on the channel. My Twitter is more active, but it's not fair to y'all to be gone for three months, four months, and not have anything uploaded. I know, I had a rough patch over the summer. But I'm mostly done with this video, and that was the preview. Uh, thank you for sticking around, especially like all you new subscribers who are just coming, haven't seen a new upload in a while. So there's this uh, whole thing about the free market. So I hope you will enjoy. It's going to be like a six-part series. Woo. But yeah, I uh, thank you all for being here. Goodbye.